So if you'd like to make a list in your own target language, but you find that when you Google a list of adjectives or a list of verbs that they just, half of them are words that you don't want to learn anyway, or words that you don't want to use or you're not going to use. If you find yourself using Google Translate for hours on end trying to translate word by word at a time, then this trick is going to save you a lot of time. Basically, it's going to translate a whole list of words for you in one go and it's going to be a personalized list that you will create yourself as well stick around to watch what i do here so you don't have to worry about having to learn or translate words that you don't necessarily want to learn or that you're not going to use in your language or if you google top 100 verbs then half of them aren't going to be words that you want to learn anyway so with this little trick you will be able to make your own list of words that you want to learn translate them into your language and then learn them as and when you want to first of all we're on google sheets i don't know if this works for excel but at least Google Sheets is completely free. You should have a Google account. If you don't, um, I believe you can still access this kind of thing anyway. As you can see here, I've got a list of random words. If I was to do this myself, I would probably do a list of verbs, one of adjectives, one of maybe like vocabulary surrounding like houses or clothing or whatever it is that you may want to learn. So to easily translate these into the language you'd like to translate them into, click onto the respective cell. So I've titled these in the languages I'd like to translate them into. That's just so it's easy for me to know which languages they're going to be. Uh, click up here on the function area. Now uh, you wanna type in this particular code. I will put the code in the description down below if it's gonna be easier for you to copy and paste the code as opposed to typing this in every time. But the code goes as follows. So you wanna put equal sign, Google Translate, then you want to open bracket and then with the open bracket in this particular instance i'll explain in a second i want to put a2 then i want to put a comma open speech marks then i want to put en for english close speech marks another comma another open speech marks then i want to put in the language uh, code that i'm trying to translate into this one is polish so i'm going to put pl close with the speech marks and then close with the bracket once you've put this entire code in then you can press enter now with this code, the equal Google Translate is basically the code that tells the program what we're doing next. The Within the brackets, we've got the actual function. So we've got A2. So the reason I've put A2 is because I'm trying to translate hello right now. And the cell that hello is in is A up the top here and then 2. If I was to translate house, for example, I would put A6. Or if I was to translate something over here, I would put G nine for example there was something in the respective cell just there so bear that in mind that would be something you'd have to change depending on how you laid out and also then we've got en in the first set of brackets so that's the language you're translating from then the comma separating it then you've got in the second set of uh, commas the pl which in this instance is the language code for polish um, if I was doing it in Spanish or German, as I will do in a second, I'll put in ES and DE respectively. Um, you may have to Google if you're doing another language as to what the language code is. But assuming you understand that and that's been explained well enough for you, we press enter and it loads and then Vitae. So the first translation right there in Polish is Vitae, uh, which when you click on it, you can then see the function up there. All you have to do to translate the rest of the column all the way down to where are you from is to click on Vitae, which has the, the code right here. You want to click on the corner of this box and drag it down to where are you from. And automatically, it will fill out all of that. If it doesn't automatically fill it out, what you want to do is right click and then there is an option to uh, autofill. It, that's especially if you're on your phone, then that will work. How do we do this into Spanish, into German? For argument's sake, because most people are not going to be typing this out every time, I'm going to copy and paste this. And this time I'm going to change PL into ES, and then I'm going to press enter. And then we've got hola. Now what we want to do is the same thing down here. Loads all the Spanish equivalents. And then we do that again. But in, this time we change PL into DE. And then we want to do the same thing, drag it down, and there we go. Just like that, I've created a list for th uh, three different languages, technically four if you want to include English, but three other like target languages where I've just uh, random vocabulary. I can now see uh, Vitae, Hola, Hallo, um, you know, and all these other words. You can basically get an idea of how 
um, how you can use this to your advantage to create huge lists and within seconds once you've got the code especially just change it into the uh, respective language that I did here and yeah basically just use this as a tool uh, bear in mind it doesn't always perfectly work there are sometimes like mistranslations and things bear in mind this is all done through Google Translate so obviously it's as good as what Google Translate is um, if you try to do it in Japanese you might find that it's uh, a little bit messy sometimes uh, let's try to have a look here so if we put in JA for Japanese so that one works uh, but I wouldn't be surprised that there was one or two that didn't quite work out right but in this case it did but I basically I have uh, or at least I think it has I don't know if these uh, translations are correct my Japanese is nowhere near good enough to understand whether these are actually the correct kanji or not but you can see here uh, in this situation it has worked for the Japanese I have tried this previously with Japanese and sometimes um, it just doesn't quite work out properly so in that situation um, like 99% of the time it does work I find but then the 1% of the time like the translations can be a bit weird or it just won't translate or it will just translate to something else so so I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I think it was like I don't know, like a random like number six or something. It just translated it uh, from S I X to the the digit number six. It just like like that. So sometimes it doesn't work so well, but in general, if you want to make a quick big list in your target language. This is how you do it. Just to explain a little bit earlier on about the whole A2 thing, just in case you didn't understand what I was talking about, uh, let's make an example. So here I want to put in a word. Let's put in the word to talk or the verb to talk. Uh, then in this one, we want to put in the code. So we, t we paste the code. I want to do it in another language. Let's do KO, I think is for Korean. And then the A2 here, uh, in this situation, I want to do to talk. If I was to press enter right now, it would translate it for A2, which would be the cell A2, which is this one here, hello. But in this situation, I decided that actually I wanted to do G7. So G7, you type there, English stays the same, and this should translate in from another language. And then the language here changes uh, depending on what language you want to translate into. Uh, but everything else stays the same. You press enter. And all of a sudden, this is apparently the way to say to talk in Korean, or at least the way to write it, because it doesn't give you uh, the pronunciation. The way I'm using this actually to learn more words in Polish is by having English and Polish here, especially in adjectives. So we would have happy and szczęśliwe, but then I've got all of these synonyms of happy. Some of them are the same because in English we have so many words, we have a wide range of vocabulary. So yeah, you can see here, for example, like joyful and joyous, uh, both translate to the same thing. And so does merry, to be fair, they all translate to the same word. The same as cheerful, cheery, uh, jolly. So you can see there's like similarities, but um, this way I can like look at the list, I can learn not just steinschliebe, but I can also learn other words which mean the same thing, but when I'm speaking, I can like just use one of these other words, you know? And so I haven't finished this list by uh, any means, but I've got sad, so then I've got all of these ones here as well. Again, there's a few like same ones, but like in, in general, it's still showing me like, you know, how they would express how to say woeful, which is apparently fatown there. Um, and then the same for hard, uh, then we've got all of these other words there as well. So with adjectives, um, very easy to get. Um, like synonyms for those basically so that's basically what I've done there and I'll be adding to this list personally and this is something that I'm, I'm using basically to to extend my vocabulary thank you for watching this video I hope you did enjoy it I hope you learned something new actually uh, if you like the video if you like this kind of content if you like content surrounding languages geography quizzes um, if you like content around me learning things or around me trying to teach you things please consider subscribing to the channel and also liking the video it really helps me out a lot uh, everything because this channel um, you, you know because of the way I've treated this channel over the last few years I am basically YouTube has killed off this channel so any sort of interaction whether it's comments liking the video um, whether it's just the watch time itself um, you know anything like that at all really goes a long way to help me out and tells YouTube with the algorithm that basically this channel still has people that want to watch this uh, these these videos on this channel so if you like this video if you like this channel then please subscribe obviously if you don't and don't bother um, I don't want people subscribing just because I've asked you to but yeah that's basically it for this video so thank you so much for watching happy learning and I'll catch all of you in the next one for another video until then have a good one and peace out <laughs>